so nice to see you. How are you, Margaret? How you doing? I've been seeing you everywhere. <laughs> Makes know, right? my day. I know. Damien, congratulations again on just a wonderful performance. Um, what was the biggest uh, stretch for you in this role? I think going into such a introspective type of character uh, that's so far away from who I am <laughs> and, uh, and, and so far away from other characters that I played before. And that's something that I always appreciate when, they, when I have the chance you know, to step into these type of roles um, that they're so different from each other. You know, and, and, and that, that to me is what, uh, what, I, uh, what makes an actor an actor. Uh, when you have that chance to be somebody else in a, in a radical, you know, way. Uh, but to me, knowing that Miguel was frugal in words and in actions, that everything would come from the inner part of his soul. And that to me was, was, was a big, you know, stretch and a big challenge that I always, you know, kept in mind. We know you as this warm, uh, funny person. Um, <laughs> and uh, in this role, you have to be so contained, but you're also dealing with some big issues, which I don't want to reveal. When you find yourself in trouble, are you one of those people that shares the information or do you keep it hidden? Oh, interesting. Um, I, I think... Miguel and I might be similar in that sense. I think we are able to bring it out if the right people uh, is right in front of us, you know, if the right people are around us, if the right person is right across, if you find like a, a good receptive type of soul. And, uh, and that's exactly what I think happened to these two characters, yeah. that the, they are so similar and they keep so much inside that the only way they will expiate those thoughts and those feelings and those demons is it would only be if they encounter um, I like so. a, a, a balance, you know, other me, you know, like a like a like a, a, a um, another person that, that can be receptive, and uh, and that only comes with trust. You know, you can, you can't buy it, you can't build it. This is just that you trust some somebody or you don't. Um, I agree with you on that. Um, talking about uh, uh, success, though, um, it occurred to me that you're only, I think the second person of Mexican heritage to receive the kind of awards that you have. Okay. Um, talk about what that means for you, not only as uh, an actor, but maybe at this time of year, uh, hmm. what's going on in the world? Uh, yeah, uh, after Anthony Queen, 50 years ago, you know, uh, it, it, was, it was me, the only, other Mexican who have been nominated for, for in the leading actor category. And Anthony Quinn got two Oscars for a best supporting actor. So we still a lot to go. <laughs> yeah. There's a long way to go still to equal that man. I mean, what a fantastic artist. What a colossal actor Anthony Quinn was. I think, you know, when, when this, Type of things happen to me I feel honored to represent this beautiful culture uh, this fantastic country you know called Mexico so rich in many different ways and uh, but especially because I also represent uh, millions of undocumented workers millions of uh, immigrants that like me being an immigrant got to, you know, into the United States uh, to in search of, you know, uh, different uh, views and different uh, opportunities and different challenges and different everything. 
And uh, so I represent those people as well. And uh, they make me they make me good. And I, I hope I can make them good also. I think you make everybody really good. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye.